a middle-aged gentleman who has history of cholecystectomy, XJ, hepatectomy, and suffering from recurrent pyogenic cholangitis. He was recently admitted to a peripheral hospital with liver abscess in the core day loop, measuring around 5 cm, and failed percutaneous drainage, and the sepsis subsequently resolved with IV tazosin. Here is the CT image for the liver abscess. So today we are going to have a EUS plus or minus aspiration. Inserted my scope into the duodenum, and uh, now we are looking at the right kidney here. Can you? Do you have a USB? Yes, we have a USB. Hello. Yes. yes. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. This is Uzma. The view is nice. Yeah. Yes. This is right kidney. We can see the medulla and the cortex of the right kidney. Uh, the, our main task is to evalu the, the evaluation of the liver in this case so I am slowly slowly try to retract my score uh, to intrigate the right side of the liver this is right kidney and the right kidney is averting the right posterior segment of the liver and we are having upside down view here so the lower part as I mentioned earlier is segment uh, 7 and the upper part of the screen is segment 6 if I rotate my scope clockwise little by little then we can go to the anterior segment of the liver we can see a lot of uh, new mobilia inside the uh, right side of intrahepatic duct here we can see the segment 8 and the segment 5 we can also appreciate the right portal vein and uh, this is the way we can evaluate the, the most of the right side of the liver. We can get some orientation. And this is the uh, anterior segment. And uh, in between, we may see the right portal vein, uh, right hepatic vein. Because hepatic vein is generally on the margin of liver segment. Portal vein is in the center of segment. So if you see this... Uh, 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 this one, this one is uh, 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 segment uh, portal vein going to the segment 5. Uh, down here is portal vein going to segment uh, 8. If I rotate this one to uh, posteriorly, then we will have the portal vein going into segment uh, 6 and 7. Uh, 6 and, uh, yeah, 6 and 7. But uh, we try to look at the caudate lobe here, not a right lobe is uh, already have uh, multiple new mobilia suggesting the possibility of recurrent pyogenic uh, cholangitis in this case. Now I'm uh, trying to move my scope back to the stoma and this is uh, aorta and uh, celiac splenic artery and vein. If I rotate further to count clockwise then uh, generally here we can see some of the left lobe of the liver. This is the position we must observe the left lobe, but we cannot see left lobe here. And then uh, I will, because it is already resected, so I'm gonna try to find, this is left kidney and the pancreas tail, but uh, we are going to, this is diaphragm. In, in the proximal stomach right now. There is a lot of air here. Uh, we can appreciate some part of the liver here. Ah, this is maybe. Sp yeah. Can you ask if your scope is in the proximal stomach now? Yeah. What does your. This, uh, is is okay. this is spleen. This is spleen. Can we have an uh, endoscopic view? Yeah, what's that collection? Mm. Oh, that might endoscopic be Endoscopic view. I will. No. US and the small endoscopic screen. So, yeah. Generally, I start. Okay. No. Yes, yes. Please start. 
EUSP. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the enlarged fundus. We need to go downward. Mm -hmm. yep. So, Dr. Sio, we leave you here for now. Uh, we will go to see. Yes, hello. Yes. Uh, in this case, I have uh, difficulty in delineating. When I first started the US, I clearly saw chordate lobe, S1 segment from the stomach side. But after repeated pushing and pulling, uh, there's, I think, uh, some air went inside in the bowel also, so I'm having difficulty in looking at the S1 segment from the stomach. Instead, I am trying to look at the segment 1 from the duodenal side here. Uh, we can appreciate portal vein anterior segment, and uh, uh, now I am, this is anterior, and uh, we are going posterior side, but uh, from here, we can appreciate some echo difference on this uh, I'm suspecting some echo difference on this part uh, some may not agree but uh, this part is a little bit suspicious this area this is right lobe this is a uh, uh, right lobe but this part is different so I will try to look at this area after contrast injection. Uh, on CT scan, they suspected the abscess, but it's not fully uh, liquefied abscess. There are a lot of solid material inside, and uh, I'm not sure uh, it's, it is the prime time to drain this cyst. So I will try to look at the liver after contrast injection. This is B-mode image. On the right, left side is B-mode image contrast. Yeah. And the right okay. side is a uh, harmonic image, so we are going to inject Sonobu. But ideally, Sonajoid is better because Sonajoid stays longer than Sonobu and uh, it can show Cooper cell phase image injection. Yeah, we are injecting now. Please push the timer button. Mm. Yeah, time. Uh, time after injection uh, not equipped it but uh, we will see whether there is contrast enhancement from that area and the surrounding area we are looking at the contrast initial arterial enhancement pattern so here when we look at the arterial phase everything looks the same but I'm expecting more enhancement in this inflammatory if it is an uh, inflammatory region it will show uh, more clear, strong enhancement. But the important thing is Cooper cell phase. The early phase does not show very good idea, uh, but the later phase, it will show the difference between normal parenchyme and uh, tumorous conditions such as HCC or hemangioma or cholangiocarcinoma or abscess. But uh, uh, in HCC, there is uh, early arterial enhancement, and the later phase, you will show slow uh, washout. And the cholangiocarcinoma does not show initial uptake, uh, generally hypo-enhancing pattern. And uh, 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 hemangioma also uh, shows a later feeling, uh, like per, uh, percutaneous uh, trans abdominal ultrasound. We need to wait three, four minutes. Until now, I cannot find a strong difference between normal parenchyme and uh, this area. I, I got the S1 image now. If you see uh, this, uh, you may appreciate the, the abscess area. It's very subtle. This area is, uh, I think, abscess area. 
the uh, beam of the echogenicity here is different from this side, the normal part of the liver. So I will try to show it here. You may see some low attenuation area in this part here. This is transgastric view. When I stand up, uh, it became easy to show <laughs> this S1 part. When I sit down, it was difficult to show this area. Uh, this area is portal vein area, hepatic hilum area. In this case, uh, they already resected the left lobe of the liver. So if I rotate like this, we are looking at the main portal vein, extrahepatic main portal vein and the right portal vein here. Generally, if I do counterclockwise rotation, then we will see left lobe of uh, portal vein. But in this case, there is no left lobe. And uh, this is a uh, left uh, po portal vein. And uh, if I rotate a little bit to this, uh, then uh, we may see the IVC. This is IVC. This is IVC line. This portal vein IVC line actually divide the segment posteriorly, S1 segment posteriorly. This is the margin. And uh, I think uh, this area is the culprit area. And also, in the meantime, we checked contrast enhanced DUS on this part. But contrast enhancement pattern was not very much different from this area and this area. So that means there is not enough liquefaction. We, even though we are uh, puncturing this one, we probably will lack a much amount of fluid. And uh, I don't think it's a good idea to do drain uh, drain uh, on this uh, unmaturated uh, liver abscess. Liver abscess is quite common in patients with uh, recurrent pyogenic cholangitis. So we generally treat this case uh, empirically with uh, third generation cephalosporin and uh, metronidazol for the management of this case. If it does not show response, then uh, we can think about resistant bacteria. But in this case, uh, I think uh, we already saw the abscess area and uh, we already confirmed it is now fully maturated and there is contrast going inside. If there is fully maturated, then there will not be any contrast going inside this uh, abscess area. So better to do stop uh, the procedure here and uh, treat the patient uh, with antibiotics. What is uh, your opinion, the panel's opinion on this case? I agree. I think the lesion right now is immature. It's very subtle to identify and does not look fully liquefied uh, to where you'll get adequate drainage even if you placed, uh, placed a stent. So yeah. uh, probably better two way. It does look like there's a little, oh no, that's contrast. I was going to say air, but I think that's just yeah. contrast. This patient already have a lot of air because of RPC and the probably they did several procedures and also they cut uh, the liver. So we, this is all pneumobilia, as I mentioned earlier, going to the right side of the liver. Okay, any other okay, comment right. or question? No, then I think that was a good example of when to just stop. So. Yes, yep. okay. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you so much. Yep.